size super simple recipes number 29 caramelized onion and tomato taught stupid word really it's a flan uh, the reason I'm doing this and it's a vegetarian I won't say it's vegan because of the pastry um, is to use up these fantastic ingredients my father-in-law's given me um, and I've got quite a few little bits of leftover pastry that I want to use up so we'll do we'll see how this goes now normally you would do these with some thyme but the only bastard herb that I haven't got either growing or dried is thyme so what I've decided to do is do them with some classic herbs so I'm going to do the tomatoes with some basil and I'm going to do the onions with some sage uh, and we're going to give them some oil some balsamic some sugar slow roast them in the oven and then assemble the tort later on so the first thing i've got to do is prep this lot so i'll come back in a few minutes once all that's done so i've simply cut my tomatoes into quarters first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some fresh basil into those We're going to add a few little drops of chopped garlic. If you've got, if you don't like garlic, you can leave it out, obviously. Um, and if you've got whole cloves, you could put whole cloves in and then lift them out at the end. But I'm uh, too lazy for any of that shit, so I'm going to just. Tiny amounts, a few spots, not too much. That'll be fine. Then you want a really good glug of balsamic vinegar. And the sugars in the balsamic vinegar will help to cook these off a bit yeah don't be shy with it and then we want that same amount of a glug of decent olive oil good grind of pepper Good grind of salt and they go into the oven at about 170-ish, maybe 180 and they're going to take about an hour and make sure you put them on the bottom shelf of the oven. Meanwhile, I start prepping so the, the onions. onions, we're going to put our sage. You could use dried sage if you haven't got any, uh, or thyme would be even better if you had some, but I haven't got any. Then we're going to, once again, give it a few little spots of garlic. Yeah, not massive amounts. And you can leave the garlic out if you're not a great lover of it. Now you can add brown sugar 
tonight, or I'm going to use some golden syrup. You want to just Followed by olive oil, and again, let me show you the olive oil. Again, these are going to take about an hour, and these are going to go on the top shelf. But to ensure that it doesn't stick, I'm going to put a piece of baking parchment over it, so you need salt and pepper. And what we'll do is we'll cook these under the baking sheet for the first half an hour uh, and then we'll take them out, we'll give them a stir around, we'll check our tomatoes and then we're looking at another 30 to 35 minutes or until they're at the stage that we want them. Uh, a bit of a stir around will help. Do what to have enough baking sheet there. Yeah? So Revised plan. Yeah, there's some more baking sheet in here. I'm probably not. I'll use a piece of tin foil instead then. And this is just to prevent the onions from burning. We don't need to wrap it up. I'll just print the two ends under. That goes on the top shelf then. And then we come back in about half an hour. And check where we're at. So, our onions have now been in for about half an hour. So we're going to lift the foil off. See where we are. Give them a bit of a stir up. Oh, of course. Nice smells. And they softened. So from this point on, we're going to be checking them maybe every 15 or 20 minutes. And you're just going to leave them uncovered on the top shelf until they've gone golden and caramelised. Which could take. 30 to 40 more minutes because the oven's not very hot right so they just go back in again and we'll check them every 15 or 20 minutes and see what we've got at the end so our onions and tomatoes have actually been in the oven now for about an hour and a quarter and I've stirred them a couple of times, but we'll have a quick look at what we've got. Oh. One tray of beautifully caramelised onions. And one tray of nicely roast tomatoes. Give those a quick stir around. Wow bubbly it's amazing how much they've reduced in size eh? so what we're going to do is we're going to leave them to cool down a little and uh, if you uh, have a tart flan case pastry whatever thing excellent Unfortunately, I bloody well don't. So we're going to use some puff pastry from the leftover bits that we've used on other recipes. So we'll give it a little while, I'll come back, we'll roll out a base and we'll get these on. Oh, yum. 
Wow, they're fab. Okay, I'll come back once we're ready to assemble that tile. I've re-amalgamated all my little bits of puff pastry that were left over. Rolled them out and I've just put it on a pizza dish, but I've put a bit of parchment under just to try and stop it sticking. So the first thing I'm going to do is just score the pastry. Not cutting through it, I'm just scoring around the edges. So hopefully that will rise and pop up. Then we're going to get a bit of our egg wash and just brush around that edge that we've done to get a nice glazed finish to it. And the phone, right, well, yeah, that's got rid of our rude interrupt interruption. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to begin piling this up and I'm going to start with the tomato, which are lovely and well cooked. Hopefully there should be just about enough here to cover the base, I'm hoping. this out more than I intended to. caramelised onion and we're going to layer that on the top of there try and spread that out as well Not doing this very evenly, am I? It's fantastic smells of the herbs uh, and the tomatoes and the onions going on. So let's just hope it all comes out. Like I want it to at the end. stick this into the oven at about 180 for 15 or 20 minutes and all we're trying to do because everything's already cooked through is just to warm it again and to get the 
pastry to rise for us. exactly how you want it. Wow. The onions are beautifully soft, beautifully sweet. straight in the oven and see what we've got in 20 minutes. So my tortoise now has about 15, 16 minutes in the oven. We'll take it out and have a little look. I love dishes that can be done quickly and simply in the oven without having to do a lot of effort. Size super simple. Tomato and caramelised onion torte. Job done. 